Good morning everyone. In this vlog I'm going to be working on my app called Interlude. Uh, the main idea of the app came from sitting in the office with a bunch of salespeople who constantly needed to check out UK company information of prospects they were calling or dealing with. In the UK we have something called Companies House which provides all UK information publicly for free. The problem Interlude is solving is making that information more accessible and convenient to access while also making logical jumps for people. I'll show an example later in the video of how it works. Luckily, Companies House have a API, which my app is essentially wrapping over with, with a fancy new UI. Again, I'll show you a demo later in the video. Now, at the moment, I'm just trying to finish and polish the core features of the app before onboarding and outreaching for users, um, which we'll see in my Notion here. So at the moment, I'm just focusing on polishing the search feature before running through the rest of the list. Uh, anyway, I got the basic UI element of it working, which was cool, using the material UI to complete component. Now, I've actually, when I first started working on this project, I wasn't really familiar with Tailwind and I was just, just kind of thrown in the deep end, let's use Material UI and crack on. Um, but now, as I've started to use Tailwind, I kind of regret that decision, but um, I suppose I've made my bed and now I need to sleep in it. So um, we're continuing on. <laughs> Be sure to stay to the end of the video where I demo the product. Now I must say it has taken me a lot longer than I expected to get this product finished, or even to the point where it is now. I've been really busy working on my new design subscription business called designtide.co, but as I now have that under control, I want to focus on Interlude and get the first version in user's hands before the new year. On another note, I received loads of comments in my last video about the product, one particularly about the credit system I was thinking of using to monetize. This comment has had a natural impact and I've removed that system altogether and instead just going to charge a flat monthly fee for the extra logical jumps the product makes. I basically have a completely free plan where anyone can sign up and use the product as the data is essentially free. But I don't know, maybe I'll give them a trial instead of a free tier. I'm not 100% sure of how I'm gonna do that yet. Now that comment and many others is, what, is one of the reasons why I love making this series. And after the product demo, I'd love to hear your feedback or thoughts in the comment section below. And of course, it would mean the world to me if you enjoyed the video to leave a like and even subscribe. All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the product demo. Um, the best way to display Interlude is I think side by side with the original register that the government provide. Um, so obviously this is using the API which I talked about earlier and we're just querying essentially what is queried here. So let's just start with a simple search and see how that looks on the register and then compare that to Interlude and I'll, del I kind of, I'll dive into the kind of additional features or kind of the more convenient features which Interlude currently provides and then we'll talk a little bit about the plan of where I'm going to be going next with it. So let's just search for Blue Media. You can see refreshes the page. If I jump into a profile, you can see their overview, filing history. If I want to open up a PDF, it opens up another tab. If I want to go to people, it does that and it's quite uncomfortable to scroll. Um, if they are involved with other companies, you have to click in and then you can see a bit more information about them. Again, it's all very page reload, page reload, page reload. Um, which is fine. I mean, that's okay. It's just Interlude doesn't do that, which is cool, which I can show you now. So let's search for Blue Media. You can see that auto complete almost working. Please work. Yay, it worked. Um, so you can just click uh, and then it will just complete that search for you. Um, if we go back to that original page here, that search result page, you can see you can kind of just, you just get all companies without really being able to toggle or filter through the search when here you can just see the active ones the registered the ones in liquidation or the ones that are dissolved which is quite interesting so let's just go active blue you know we're, we're checking out blue media limited so let's go to this one we can go to overview and see that see that all that information which you can see here again let's say oh i actually i've clicked the wrong company i want to go to this one you can click that and see the overview information as well when for me to do that on the original register you have to go back go into again and then see it. So you have to kind of go in and out, which is a bit uncomfortable. Um, but again, it's, it's not the end of the world. It's just 
yeah, I don't know why I'm kind of giving pros for the government register, but anyway, that's just what I'm doing. So let's go back to this. When I go to filing, another really nice feature, which you may have noticed, uh, sorry, which you will see now, sorry, is if I go to click on a file, it'll open it up in a modal instead of trying to open it up in a new tab completely, uh, which I think is a really nice feature. I mean, to be fair, this register is quite quick, but again, that's uncomfortable. I want to go back here. That's quite ugly. If I wanted to actually open a file in a new link, I can, you know, in a new tab, I can do that. So that's quite an interesting feature, which I quite like. And then obviously you can toggle the, you know, or filter or sort the the type of documents which you want to see here, which is quite cool. Finally, you got people. Not much different really, apart from if they are involved in other companies, they are displayed here and in the original register that doesn't happen at all you have to click into the person to see that information so that's quite nice and some like just a bit more information so that that's kind of just like the base product of interlude and i wouldn't say there's much difference really between the register and my product the main kind of features kind of will come above kind of built on top of that core product now all those core features so periods is one which essentially it count interlude calculates the accounting periods for that company and then makes it easy or digestible to or basically makes that information digestible which you can see here this information is not on company's house but can be calculated through some information which it provides which is normally an overview and then you can see next accounts on the 30th of september. sorry so you know their year end is on the 30th of september the problem with that and kind of what I've noticed when I was working in industry and I could see salespeople trying to figure this out is they would make mistakes or it would add some extra level or an extra, yeah, it would add, add an extra level of kind of brain compute, which they didn't really want to think about. This is where Interlude can come in and be like, nope, here's the information and it's correct. And like, you can just make that phone call and not need to work out what their accounting periods are, especially when it comes to other kind of third for four levels information higher where you talk about okay i know your accounting periods but what's the r d tax claim deadline for that accounting period so that's very specific but a really good example of where interlude can provide some cool value and um, obviously this is just one example which i've noticed so my plan really now is to obviously finish the product with saved history i'll go through the notion quickly and kind of talk you through what i want to do and, and then just jump onto calls of people that are searching for companies information a lot. Obviously, I've got my own industry specific knowledge when it comes to R&D tax credits. But I, I imagine there are other industries out there where salespeople or maybe even accountants or whoever are searching for companies information or company information. And it's they're not quite it's not, the, you know, there isn't quite a product for them or maybe there is a few search solutions. But Yes, yeah, so basically just want to speak to them and see what they're searching for, like what problems they're facing. Are they using Companies House? Are they using any alternatives? Would they be open to using Interlude, trialing Interlude, even paying for Interlude? Um, and yeah, I mean, we'll just see and we'll go from there. But anyway, that's kind of the product. I'd love to hear your feedback and thoughts in the comment section below. Please make sure you do that. Um, we got some great value last time in the last video where I removed the credit system. Um, and now I'm just going to charge a flat fee instead. I think that's like a really good idea and I do appreciate that comment. So make sure you do, I will I will read every single one. So okay, so let's move on to next steps with Notion. So I think search and autocomplete is kind of at a good place. Modal for when a company uh, is clicked on. So right now, if you can only really view this company information in this search page, I think either having the company's own page, which you can really try and click into, I think is worth doing, or just when you click on the company. So if I click that now, it opens up a modal, blurs everything else, meaning the user can truly focus on that on that profile of that company, maybe. So obviously the key one is uh, save in history, display company website from Google search and the Favicon. I think that'd be quite a nice touch. I think obviously salespeople want to check out the company's website and if we can provide that information on the top, it'd be really cool. Uh, and then simply auth, simple landing page, and then let's, let's just launch it. So I suppose like, my main aim to get is to get all of these done before the new year and try and get on calls with a couple of users, potential users, and see what they think. And we'll go from there. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. I'm really looking forward to sharing more of the product and more of this journey with you in my next video. See you soon.